with the mailman while he's working. Let's go play Spanish Inquisition. You get the thumb screws. I'll get things. Children, no matter how often you scream at them or how severely you punish them, they always beg for more. Let's see, what have we here? Okay. Rubbish, rubbish. Oh, Frightening Lawn Magazine. Publishers Killing House. What's this? Yes. It has arrived. It has arrived! <laughs>
it. I finally got it. What is it, my love? A new strain of the Ebola virus? Bad cow disease? No, no, much better than that. Get everyone together. It's time for a family meeting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, thing! You're just in time to see my latest creation! You know, Pudgy's birthday's coming up. Well, what does every little boy need? No? That's right! A vicious attack dog! <gasps> but then I remember that incident with spotting a Girl Scout troop. So instead... I've come up with the perfect solution! <laughs> stand back! Just stand back! <laughs> Isn't he something? His name is Butcher. Come on, Butchie! It's showtime! <laughs> I've got him trained to respond to key command words that I figure most people would never guess. Watch this. Good boy! It's kind of like Wednesday when you tell her to take a bath. Oh boy, look at the door work! All right, that's enough! Stick up! <laughs> Don't you, Butchie? That's my boy. <laughs> what is it, thing? A family meeting? I sure hope this is important. My dearly beloved family, we all know what a proud honor it is for us to carry the Adams family name. We are a very special and distinguished people, people with an identity. People with vision and purpose. Yep. People with a superior fashion sense. People with hopes and dreams. And what is it that makes us the truly different people we are? Ancestry. The very thing that separates us from the lower animals. Well, that and taxidermy. <laughs> Sorry, Friedrich. I have before me the ultimate authority on all matters of family ancestry. The complete and unabridged Book of Adams. See this, children. Every Adams that has ever stalked the planet is now laid to rest before your very eyes. Death certificates, autopsy reports, a complete list of names that until now you might only see on jars of formaldehyde. Oh boy, this is great! You know, I bet that somewhere out there, there lies another complete branch of the Adams family just waiting to be exhumed. <laughs> this might give you a chance to find out. Huh? Family Tree Publications can put you in touch with long-lost relatives all over the world. Even arrange for family reunions. Unlimited access to all your estranged kin for a low one-time introductory price of $5,000. Oh, what a glorious day. This will surely be the best investment that we have ever made!
<laughs> what a wonderful surprise. When Fester and I heard you were coming, we almost died of shock. I'll bet take a lot more than that to kill an animal. <laughs> Look at the little ones. They're so pale and misbehaved. Chips off the old chopping block. Say, you two, I think the boogeyman left something in our attic for you. Here you are, you young devil, you. Your own personal Siberian firecracker. <laughs> and for you, my dearest great-granddaughter, funeral director Bonnie and executioner Clyde. Oh, no, you're spoiling my children now, aren't you? <laughs> Ensuring that they grow up to become social deviants. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Our only wish is that they grow up to be honest, respectable, and adjusted members of society. <laughs> you almost had me going there, you old trickster. <laughs> Let's go inside, quick, before you catch warm. Picked up the Siberian firecracker roadside on our vacation to Pensacola. How was your trip to the old country, Grandma? Utterly charming. We arrived right in the middle of the smallpox epidemic. I hate dolls. And I resent the fact that they still see me as a child. I know, dear. But remember, they are your great grandparents. So old and fragile. Just smile and be thankful they won't be around much longer. Good news, everyone. Grandma and Grandpa have informed me that they intend to stay on for a little while. Mm. Well, that's great! It'll give us a chance to remodel the dungeon and play hangman with us sexy neighbors. Just my whole time! I propose a toast to life, to death, to family. Not necessarily in that order. There's a spot on my glass. That's impossible. Spot died several years ago, didn't he, children? <laughs> You know, this stuff is so gamey and pungent. You really have a way with roadkill, Esmeralda. The secrets in the dung beetles gives it that extra crunch. Anyone here catch the score of today's Yankee game? Did you notice anything unusual about our grandparents tonight? No, I'm no dear. I mean, did they give you any strange feelings? Any cause for alarm? Darling, keep in mind that to me, they are still in laws. Tradition clearly dictates that I must despise them, regardless of my own personal feelings in the matter. Oh, darling. I do so look forward to us growing all together, sharing the misery of our declining years. Mm. Cataract. Uncontrollable halitosis. Yes, arthritis. Mm. Kidney stones. Disfiguring medical procedures. Mm. Side by side, hooked up to a myriad life support systems that blink and buzz and drip throughout the night. We writhe in bitter agony until our lives finally draw to a close with a disquieting Oh, I'm so glad they came to stay with us for a while.
Something is terribly, terribly wrong. Winters in Florida. The home shopping network. Keep looking, Fester. I found it. Waltzheimer's. A rare tendency towards ordinary behavior and ballroom dancing. It pops up from time to time as age increases. And there's no known cure. <laughs> no. Anymore. <laughs> the horror. The horror! Gomez, my love, you mustn't torture yourself like this. What you really need is the help of some rusty nails and a few bamboo shoots. This sorrow is so much more than I can bear. Is there nothing? to ease the unspeakable sadness that fills my heart. Oh, good. The mail is here. Life is so simple for you, isn't it, Alicia? Thank you. Person Driver Magazine, Tombs Are Us, what's this? Yes. Excellent news everyone, we have been invited to a family reunion at the Primrose Resort. The people at Family Tree Publishing have sent us this impersonal, computerized invitation. Gomez, are you sure this is a good time to be taking a trip? I, I mean, what about our grandparents? They need our help. That's why we must go now. Don't you see, Fester? It is entirely possible that someone somewhere in our distant family has had previous experience of this rare Waltzheimer's disease and knows of our home remedy. Maybe, just maybe, we have a talented witch doctor in the family. My <laughs> good man, now you're thinking. You weren't planning on taking us to this reunion, were you? Come now, children. Aren't you excited about seeing your long-lost relatives? I would rather douse myself with kerosene and light a match. That's the spirit! Think. Go and find Lurch and tell him to start packing right away. Gomez, shouldn't we first call an RSVP? And ruin the surprise. I've called Cousin It. He'll be coming by to help irritate you all <laughs> away. And please, could you get rid of these? Let's see. Roadmap, chainsaw, scalpel, rib spreader. Everything is in order. What happened to Pugsley on Wednesday? I'm afraid you two are not getting out of it that easily. I'm afraid I left that frayed old electric blanket of ours plugged into the light socket next to the leaky faucet in the bathroom upstairs. Do you think Granny will be wearing her favorite steel wool bathrobe and copper plated slippers? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I'm sure she will. Hey, who took my banana slug?
Okay, tree publishing, please hurry. Prepare for this. Won't set the machine if possessed. How did Boris Yeltsin get invited to the Eleanor dinner? No, it's quite hard to speak like a monkey. On the whole, the system is prevailing on us. Ever since we said it, that reply card written in blood. I... They spelled Adams with only one D. You would think that a company dealing in matters of family heritage would at least spell our name right. Even Pugsley spells better than that, and his teachers only last half the year. A-D-D-A-M-S. That's right. Good boy. <laughs> Fester, are you all right? Fine. All of the addresses are messed up. Oh, my God. Jerry, did you fix last week's invites before you sent them out? No. Oh. Come on, everyone. Sing along. Come around the mountain when she comes. When she comes, she'll be coming around the mountain. Oh, there it is at last. The Primrose Resort. This is it. No wonder they didn't put any pictures in the brochure. Good day, folks. Welcome to the Primrose Resort. Well... Nice catch. Oh, God. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Oh, oh sweetheart. Oh, sorry. You must be part of the group everyone's been waiting for. I'm so glad you came back. Oh. Hi, sir. Welcome to the Primrose Resort. Oh, of course, yeah. You go inside to the left. Oh, yeah. Follow the narrow corridor. All right. Up the service elevator, oh. down the hall, and then follow the green carpet to the third door on your left-hand side. Oh. Oh, please, sir, let me help you with these bags. Birds singing, the smell of lilacs, sunshine. I want to go home. Please, Wednesday, give it a chance. A resort this size is sure to have plenty of skeletons in its closet. Oh, poor thing. I had completely forgot. He gets so car sick on these long trips. We'll have to get him inside where it's cold and damp. If only it were so simple for Grandma Say and cheese. Grandpa. The Primrose Resort was originally built as part of the vast flower empire of Colonel Tom and Madden and Primrose. The grounds were 70 rooms, a pool, two tennis courts, a few scenic trails, and the cuisine of our living ship, Jean La oh. Is there a graveyard? Uh, yeah, well, not exactly, but Colonel Tom and Madeline and Primrose are interred out back in the rose garden. Kind of spooky, huh? Buried out back. Mm. You hear that, Festa? Sounds like your kind of resort, old man. Where do you go? Bloody, bloody, bloody I don't see any skeletons. Spoil sport. <laughs> oh, darling! Yes. We're living in a lap of luxury. Yes. On our own brand new dream coat, Sleepomatic. Oh, so nice. Oh, it's just How's our patient doing? Not too well. I might have to operate. Well, okay. But uh, you remember our little lesson from last time, don't you? If the patient refuses to stop screaming, offer him some anesthetic. Good boy, Pugsley. I'm sure you'll be at the top of your class when you reach medical school. Where is that brother of mine? You know how terribly shy Fester becomes at large gatherings? He's probably curled up in some dark, musty corner, enjoying the familiar company of spiders and rusty sewer pipes. 
Doesn't he want to get out and mingle with long lost relatives? Make new friends? See how the other half dies? Have patience, my dear. As sure as the slugs will return to the sidewalk after a cold rain, I'm certain that Fester will come out when the time is right. Oh, look at this. It's the Adam's here, Adam's there, Adam's everywhere, Adam's in, Adam's out. These people are relatives. Be nice, Wednesday. They're your own flesh and blood. Too much flesh, not enough blood. Oh, there you are. You must be the distant relatives that just checked in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm Dolores, and I've just been dying to meet you. Likewise, of course. Dolores, what a beautiful name. In Latin, it means pain and sorrow. You know, I've been helping with the reunion arrangements for my husband's family for several years, and it's simply amazing just some of the people we've come across. <laughs> Last year, Lakeside Reunion. We were graced by National Jury Council and Jeffrey Adams. A chuck wagon style barbecue. <laughs> Strange world we live in. <laughs> Never know who you'll be taking up next. <laughs> You've no idea how often we have uttered exactly the same words. Philip! Philip, come over here and meet a few of your relatives. <laughs> this is my husband, Dr. Philip Adams. Gomez Adams. What an honor indeed. And this is my wife, Morticia. Charmed. My children, Wednesday and Puxley. And of course, Lurch. Lurch is not actually a full Adams. He's also part Murkowski, part Cohen, part Fergasso, part Murta, and part Torres. Except, of course, for the kidneys. We're not entirely sure where they came from. But most assuredly, he has the heart of an Adams. Mm. I understand you're a doctor. <laughs> Philip is a leading psychiatrist. A witch doctor. Well, excuse me, I have to run. I need to freshen my drink. It's been something. Maybe I should introduce you to a few of the others. And perhaps your children should meet my little ones. Did you hear that, darling, a specialist? First, there must be psychic. Who are those people? Claim to be our relatives. Well, what on earth are they doing here? You don't suppose they're after the family Real money? So I, mean, I hope not. Unless... Get away! You snot dribbling little mongrels! Get away, you all You don't suppose the old get man away, had an illicit affair and. What's that? Nah. You're right. I was amazed he had the wherewithal to pass his foul genes on to the three of us. Speaking of which, where is Joffrey and its floozy little wife? Should have been here hours ago. This is it? This is the Primrose Resort? No wonder they didn't put any pictures on the brochure. Are you sure the address is right? Well, this invitation looks like a computer printout. Maybe the reunion company made a mistake. This is so like Dad. First he gets that low-ball reunion agency, then they bring us out here in the middle of God knows where for a weekend of family hell. I'm sure he did this just to embarrass and humiliate us. Honey, I think we should just turn around and go home. I mean, you have meetings, and my pedicure could really use a touch-up. What? And give Philip and Catherine a chance into talking Dad into cutting us out of the will? Are you insane? It's not a road hazard knowing a man that stands a chance against these wheels. No. Oh, what kind of idiot leaves 
something like this laying around. Wednesday and Pugsley. Why don't you all play together? Mom! Darn it, Stevie! You will be nice, you will have fun, and you will enjoy the childhood I never experienced, whether you like it or not! Toodaloo! <laughs> Pugsley? What kind of stupid name is that? It's Slavic for stomach pump. What's the matter, Butch? You're hungry again? Butch, look. I don't even have any hair to feed you. See, there's nothing there. Oh, oh all right, all right, all right. I guess I'm going to have to find you something to eat then. Look, you stay here and don't go anywhere till I get back, OK? Your turn. So, Morticia, you have a somewhat darker taste in fashion. Mm, thank you. Where do you shop? Black and Decker. Oh, no. I make all my own clothing. Ooh. Why buy clothes off the rack when you spend most of your free time on it? Hi. My name is Pugsley. What's yours? My name is... G G G Gina. So, you like tomato worms? Here. I found it under Lurch's bowling ball. I was kind of saving it for later, but you can have it. Stevie just made the honor roll at Moreland Academy. He's on the fast track for investment banking. Oh, Dolores. You must be so proud. Morticia, where do your children attend school? Considering the overcrowded classrooms, the lack of funding, and the dangerous conditions, we've decided to keep our children in public school. <clears throat> uh, caviar, ladies. Oh, goody, goody, yes, yes, of course. Mmm. <laughs> This is to die for. Uh, caviar, madam. No, thank you. I prefer to wait for the larval stage. You think I'm particular? When he was a tot, Pugsley insisted I jiggle his head so it looked alive. How quickly they grow up. Seems only yesterday he just hatched and was crawling around, teething on extension cords. Feed that weirdo. <laughs> well, that was a challenge. Got any other games? <laughs> Are you sure you're all right? I don't know. Just remind me to kill my dad if we ever get out okay. of here. Ah! Who is it? Uh, Ma'am, our car broke down out here. Could we use your phone, please? How do I know you're not an insurance salesman? Huh? Oh, my God, how did she know? I don't know. What's the secret password? I'm sorry? I said, what's the secret password? <laughs> Trick or treat! Bingo! <laughs> Watch your step. in 
this house is a little old. <laughs> Cousin Ed and I were just playing a game of seven card stud. You're welcome to join us. Do we'd love to, but we really need. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I had the queen of spades when I left this table. <laughs> Liar. My memory is just fine. You big, hairy cheater. Look, I'm really sorry we interrupted your game, but we really need to use your phone. Oh, I'm sorry. That's quite impossible. All the lines are dead. Our car is stuck outside. We really need to get someplace. You're just going to have to wait here until the storm passes. In the meantime, why don't you drag up a chair and join us? <laughs> yes, please, the number for Child Protective Services. Thank you. Not at home, the office, the car, the country club. Wonder what happened to that little twit of a brother of ours. You don't suppose those people killed off Jeffrey and Melinda and decided to take their place, do you? Now, sister dear, don't get your hopes up. In case something disastrous did happen to our beloved sibling, I'm sure his share of the estate would ease our sorrow. If this is part of some twisted little plan you've come up with to eliminate the competition... Hello, yes. <laughs> don't even think about getting rid of me next. Surely you're not suggesting... Oh, please, spare me the choir boy act. I know for a fact you've been poisoning Daddy. But just keep in mind, if I don't get my full share of these days, I'm going straight to the cops. Hmm. Straight to the cops. There you are. <laughs> Forgive me, Dr. Adams. No, no, please, we're all family here. Call me Dr. Philip. Dr. Philip? I must have a word with you. It is of a serious medical nature. As a fellow Adams, you must help me. It's my grandparents, you see. They have been stricken with a rare family condition. Perhaps you have heard of it? Waltzheimer's. Sweetheart, hmm. our shuffleboard court is clear. Oh, I'm having such a swell time. It tears me up to see them like this. First, it was Matlock. Then, the Tupperware. Yesterday, I heard them saying to each other that they would like to meet Willard Scott. It's been such a terrible burden on my family. I mean, how does one begin to cope with this madness? Tell me about it. Perhaps you know of some potion, elixir, or drug. Anything to halt the, this dangerous progression. Personally, I recommend strictly. But what sort of grandson do you presume me to be? You think I haven't tried that already? Excuse me. I asked for a real drink, not that watered-down hog swill. Drink, 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 drink. Where's the bartender? Drink, Stop drink, this. You drink. are becoming an embarrassment. Take your hands off me. Who do you think you are? You old fool on your firstborn son. Firstborn my foot. You're nothing but a lazy hoodlum. You're fired. Fire you. Fire. Oh, do it. Would you stop it? Come on. You need to take some more medication. I don't want any of those pills. Pills, pills, pills. That's all you people ever feed me. Please, it's for your own good. For my own good. Mm. No. Mm. That does it. That does it. That does it. Okay. Here you go. You're going to take them now and you're going to swallow them. Yes. <laughs> and then we're going to continue our discussion about the wheel. <laughs> stayed all the way back to the second president of the United States, John Quincy Adams. Well, our ancestors go all the way back to Vlad the Impaler. Let's see, that one's a praying mantis, and this one's a yellow potato bug. Hey, Black's next! Come on, who's Black? They inherited his athletic genes, but I inherited his spastic colon. 
Dr. Philip, please, I implore you to help us. Look, Gomer. That's Gomez. Whatever. I keep regular hours like any man. Why don't you call me at the office? Just don't call me Wednesday. Well, of course not. You don't even dress like her. Ah, cousin Philip, come here and show us a little of your expertise. Ah, the sport of civilized men. Civilized. <laughs> cousin Philip once cleaned me out of my Rolex at this game. <laughs> All that marksmanship? How would you like to put your money where your mouth is? Say, ooh, 10,000 a game? 10,000 of my money against your medical specialty services? <laughs> you silly fool. I'll bury you. That's never stopped me before. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Cyanide, rat poison. Perhaps a cocktail of lethal drugs with no antidote. Gosh, now who's the blockhead? Hey, watch you, little twerp. Please, please, no need for insults. Let's settle this like civilized people, with brutality and senseless violence. Your weapon of choice? I choose the crossbow. No way, I choose the javelin. Sword and bed lasts at 30 paces. You can substitute for a ball and chain, but only after first blows have been exchanged. Agreed? Why don't you just hit the ball, Lord Breath, unless you're too lame to use the mallet? Fresh in Morticia's garden. Oh. Mm. 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 
not bad. Except, do you happen to have any tofu or watercress? Oh, no, I think I've used everything already. Let's see. Deadly nightshade. <laughs> the poison oak looked a little old, but it's awfully hard to get good stock this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmother, grandfather, oh, I'd like to introduce you to your new physician. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. How about ping pong, double or nothing? What do you think, dearest? I'd give my right arm to see you lose. Compadre, you've got yourself a deal. Beating a dead horse. Maybe not on your side of the family. How about tennis? Triple or nothing? He'll still throw in the arm? Whatever! This is boring. What do you suggest? tennis circuit. Is your husband any good? I'm not sure. I don't think he's ever played this game before. Come on! Let's split up. 
You take the rest of the guest quarters. I'll check the lady's side. <laughs> Simon didn't say breathe. There you are. Gina, your mother has been looking everywhere for you. They're going to be playing pinata down the lounge before dinner. thing all the way up. I can't believe she probably doesn't have the stupid thing plugged in. Hurry up, Joff. My toesies are turning into icicles. You know, Maggie doll, I just can't find the switch here. Oh, it's the floor is soaking wet in here. <laughs> I think our work here is done. Come on, honey, we're getting out of here right now. I can't walk out of here looking like this. What if somebody sees me? Oh, for crying out loud, Melinda, don't you realize what's going on? We've been nearly poisoned. We just got electrocuted. I swear, if we spend the night in this dump, there's a strong chance we're gonna wake up dead. Not now, dear. We'll be late to dinner. The late Gomez and Morticia Adams. Oh, I like the sound of that. How do I look? Just to kill. Or at the very least, to maim. Coming, children. We thought we'd skip dinner tonight and dig up a few old relatives. You mean Tom and Madeline Primrose, don't you? Yes, yes mother. mother. Do you realize that the groundskeeper would likely skin you alive if you caught you disturbing their place of eternal rest? Yes, Mother. Well, go on then. Run along. Lurch, are you coming to dinner? It's not often he sleeps so soundly, at least not without being first changed with a cement floor. I just hope he doesn't start sleepwalking again. anyone on the dig. We've gained a few bodies, but never lost any. Besides, after tonight, you'll never think of worms the same way again. Mr. DJs, could we have a poker, please? Uh, no, please, I'm begging you. Play something dark and passionate. A funeral march. 
the dirge, perhaps. Yo, 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 freaky white boy. We got it covered. Kick it, baby. Close enough. Care to dance. A very good year. The trip has been such a nightmare. If you pinched me now, I'd wake up screaming. Yo, 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 give it up for the man. Yeah, the man that laid down the heavy cash for this gig. That's right, Mr. Walter J. Adams. <laughs> I can't, I can't see as it is. For years, you people have been dragging me out 
to these family reunions. Now, I only have one thing left to say, and I say it to all of you. You make me sick. You're nothing but a bunch of lazy, worthless freeloaders. I'm sick of listening to your sappy, kiss-up remarks. Why, I'd sooner drop a screaming walrus down my pants than spend another minute with the entire lot of you. In all my life, I've never seen so many blood-sucking sycophants. So, next time you degenerate oh, the blood-sucking sycophant. Feel like getting oh, on empty we're out. How about the steak? And fancy dinners. Oh, Don't I suppose. And how would you like it? Scalded, please. When the bill comes. Twice. against me and rob me of my rightful inheritance. Dr. Philip, you give me altogether too much credit. I take it we're no longer limiting the stakes to $10,000, huh?
unrestricted right and responsibility to separate crying children from their terrified parents and place them in questionable foster care. You are under arrest for child abandonment, child endangerment, and child abuse. <laughs> Plus aggravated assault, yeah. attempted murder, uh. and maybe even a successful murder. Uh. Are you with them? No. No, they're normal. Now then, where are those kids? Got the exits covered. Ten four, be advised, you've got a dog catcher on the premises. Look at that thin dog. Looks like Lurch is having a little trouble sleeping again. I know how we can help Lurch rest in peace. You get that end. Gotcha, you little hair-eating mutt. Ah, what do we have here? Oh, my! This is completely illegal! Drop those shovels, now! You two are coming with me. Come on. Come on, enough of this. What have you done with the rest of my family? I demand to know all the hideous details! They can't hold us here like this. There are no leg irons, no thumb screws, no Iron Maiden. Gomez, did you hear that? It reminds me of the children. May I take a look now? It's your funeral. You obviously come from a troubled home life. And based on what I have seen so far, it is a miracle they have lasted this long. Oh, those poor little dears. They are desperately in need of a stable home environment. One that is nurturing, supportive, loving. As a concerned relative, I feel I must step forward and do my part. Oh, I 
We'll help them. I will take them in. I will give them the happy childhood I never experienced. You are one strange looking little dog. <laughs> What do you think, Butcher? What do you think we ought to do with your freaky little friend? I see. Please, we... Rex. <laughs> I see you like Eugene, Mordecai, and Clyde. Pretty soon, you four will be a quartet. I preferred to start with your brother, but the police felt you had a more immediate need for my services. Oh, oh boy, Stormbear's gonna be jealous! <laughs> We can't just stand here. We are Adamses. We are a family, a single unit. Can the arms and legs and other various appendages of a man continue to live on after they have been torn asunder? No, I say no! I mean, sure, perhaps for a little while under certain laboratory conditions, but not for the long haul. Gomez, you're frightening me. Please, go on. I demand a reunion, dear one. A reunion, nothing less. We must tear down these walls, rip apart our shackles, even if we die violently in the attempt. You're free. Okay, that works for me too. We're free. Gomez, my love. Fate has saved us again. Or even better. Perhaps it's one more miscarriage of justice in an overburdened legal system. Close. You've made bail. Hey! Walter Adams! You think I just sit around and let that stupid family of mine get away with what they've done to you? Here are the keys to your rig. You look like you've been through hell and back. Go on. You're just saying. No, <laughs> what the... I think I've tracked down the rest of your family, Gomez. We'd better get the big one first, before his air runs out. wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But I want to go home. I know, Pugsley. Me too. It's just not the same without our own family here. But for now, we simply have to make the best of things. What if we wake them up? Don't worry. I padlocked all their doors. Oh, Lurch. Eight feet of dirt above you. A tiny cramped coffin. Insanity building inside of your head. Oh, how I envy you. Better hurry, Gomez. Daybreak is coming. Threatens to ruin the entire mood. Hey, Dirt. Lurch, are you in there? Aha! Good to have you back behind the wheel, Lurch. Come on, Butcher. Come on, you little pipsqueak. Don't you want to take a nice big bite? 
one more step. That's it. Why don't you all go out and play together? Okay. Get away from here before those security guards wake up. Oh, all right. I promise you can come back here sometime for a visit. <laughs> Brother! <laughs> you can't do this. You're not licensed by the state. No. Now, now, Dr. Philip, I wouldn't dream of administering unprescribed shock treatments to a man such as yourself. No, 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 no. I will, of course, leave that to the experts. No. No! Did you have a good time in your cage? Lucky thing. <gasps> what are you gonna do now, Mom? No, no! Appendectomy, Doctor. We have a special on skin grafts. Jillian, are you all right? We'll be right there. Come on, children. The police will be here soon. How was your visit with our relatives? Dolores was talking about piano lessons and sending us to a cotillion. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry your children had to be exposed to that... that element. Watch where you're going, you robot! for us to part company, Gomez. Take good care of that family of yours. Will do. And if you ever get out to Hollywood, don't forget to look me up. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that Walter reminds me of Grandma and Grandpa in their younger days. Oh, it pains me so that we had to put them in a home. Especially one with so many cheerful flowers and that awful air conditioning. I baked a shortcake for dessert. Martha Stewart. Oh. oh. Uh, I still don't understand what 
What's keeping Philip so late at the office? I hope you're all ready for a big meal. I spent the entire morning down on the interstate. What is it? Fruit goulash? Fresh from the garden. I'll call 911. Oh. Where are Fester and the kids? Oh, Fester. I was just helping the kids with the fireworks. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, cousin here. Don't worry. Witcher won't bite. Witcher's a good boy. <laughs> Pugsley, my boy. Why the long face? Might this have something to do with a certain young lady named Gina? No, it's just I think I left my Siberian firecracker at those weird people's house. Yesterday it seemed like summer had just begun. Now I feel the swift approach of nuclear winter. Feeling uh, gloomy, darling. Oh, yes. Terribly. Family. Oh.